Hey guys, Tech Manny here, also known as Matthew Rivera, and today um, you can tell that there's no video because um, basically my phone decided to crap out on me in a way, and every single time I record a video, um, it either expires at 10 minutes, and when I look through it, the auto cuts out in the middle of the thing on my phone, and then um, just this last time that I tried recording it for a second time, um, it recorded about seven minutes and then it turned off even though I have like 50% of my phone and I have it on airplane mode so nothing can like interrupt it so um, I'm not going to be recording myself because my phone's acting pretty dumb um, so you get like a podcast thing in a way so um, hello YouTube everybody um, I'm doing fine. I'm not dead. <laughs> and um, first things first, um, why I've been out for the last month is because um, college. College is like a huge main priority on my list. It's more important than YouTube, honestly. It might sound selfish, but honestly, it's not. I promise you. Because if I just focus on YouTube more than um, college... I won't be able to get my degree. College has been a little rough this semester. Um, math is one of those things that is not my strongest subject, so I struggled in that. I passed with a B in that class, thank goodness. And all my other audio production engineering classes, I passed with A's. And with one of those classes, which was Advanced Pro Tools, 110, and um, I took the certification exam, and I am an official... Pro Tools certified user. Um, here's a certificate. <laughs> and I'm a certified user in Pro Tools. That took a lot of time, a lot of effort, a lot of studying for me to get to that point. And the funny part is that, and I'm actually recording on Pro Tools right now. So yay. <laughs> so uh, the second thing is that I'm not going to go into grave detail, but what happened is that um, October, I went downhill, never been downhill before, if you know what I mean. Um, nothing relevant to school, YouTube, or anything. Just personal life stuff, hoping, hopes crushed, stuff like that. And that's all I'm going to say. Coming out of it, I'm all good and happy. And um, that's one of the reasons why that I haven't done anything. I do not want to fake happiness. And when I was in that point... Um, I didn't want to fake happiness and probably you'll be able to see my fake happiness thing. And um, and the videos in October that you saw or the limited of videos, I don't even know how many videos in October I uploaded. Um, those were recorded a month ahead, I believe. Um, so that was in August or in September. So it wasn't really affecting me. I didn't want to react to something and give it my honest opinion and be happy fake happy and that's not me that's that's basically a fake person in my opinion that's faking happiness not being true true to their themselves so um i didn't do that and i didn't upload anything for that reason um but of course that was all the videos that were in october was a month ahead or a month yeah a month ahead when i recorded it so it didn't really affect it so basically, that's the second thing. Um, emotionally, I was downhill. Um, I'm out of it, officially. I'm over it. Didn't like where I was. So that's enough said about that subject. Of course, you might understand where I'm coming from. Just to note about it, then moving on is, um, it was emotionally in the heart, in a way. That's about it. Alrighty. Um, moving on to the third thing is that... <laughs> Right after Thanksgiving, that following Saturday, I got a cold. And um, I woke up that following Saturday and I had like a horrible sore throat. Thank goodness it wasn't strep throat. Um, I knew I had strep throat once in my life and it was horrible. And um, I got over that. I'm still having the symptoms of still stuff coming out of my nose, that disgusting stuff that I don't want to bother you guys about. Um, if you guys have a cold, have vitamin C, vitamin D, um, 
vitamin D is like a lifesaver. Um, without vitamin D, I got sick a lot. When I say a lot, it was almost every month or two. Um, I kid you not, I was getting sick all the time because because I think naturally I was born with it, I guess. But naturally, I have like a low immune system, so I get sick very easily. Um, so vitamin D boosts your immune system and all those stuff, and it helps fight against um, sicknesses. It's actually way better than vitamin C, but still take it, the mixture of, it helps. Um, so yeah, I was sick. I'm still suffering from it. That's about it with that. So um, that's the three things why I haven't been um, uploading for the past month, which is college, which is my main priority. Um, the emotional heart downhill thing I went through. Um, and then um, my cold. And the first like two days of two to three days of this cold, I literally did not want to move from my bed. I was just so I felt so crappy and so sluggish that I didn't really want to just move at all. What's quite funny is that I actually vlogged last year. I was going through my vlogs. Speaking of vlogs, I'll talk about that later. Is that um, December 23rd, it's Saturday, December 21st, today as of this audio recording. And um, as of that recording in 2018, 23rd of December, I had a cold. Which was quite funny. So probably every year now, I'm gonna, I'm not gonna jinx it, but I'm guessing that's why. But every year, um, I got us that year and this year, I have a cold. So I guess just something with winter and my allergies and all that. Okay, moving on to the fourth thing. And um, if you look through my videos, um, reacting to voice play Oogie Boogie's song music video is not there. And um, I'll explain why it's not there. So, the plateau of my views for this video is 1.8 thousand views. So, and specifically for the pat for the first 47 days, as I look at the video analytics here, um, it's 1,834 views I got on this video. I'm like, okay, that's pretty cool. And to note. And I said this before in one of my videos, but I'm going to say it again, that I do not, and I repeat, I do not make any type of money off of these videos, period. If you see advertisements, that's from the copyright owner, basically. So what happens is that you get a copyright um you don't get a strike, you just get a copyright notice that's saying, hey, this doesn't affect your channel status, you're just getting copyrighted and there'll be ads upon the copywriters. Basically, they add ads to that song and they copyright it to make revenue off of the, off the video or the song. If you do see any type of ads that are on my computer, on, on my videos, they are from the copywriter. I do not make any money. I, do, I don't even have an AdSense account on my YouTube thing. So um, that's that with the th views, but with the, dis with the, but with the likes, um, I got 28 likes for this video and then 43 dislikes. Now, I've had dislikes in the past, but not this extravagant. And the likes versus dislike ratio is 39.4%. And that's not even half because the majority of it is dislikes, which is mind blowing. So when I saw that and the, the likes versus dislikes ratio started going a little bit weird in the video, I'm like, okay, so why don't they like it? Because I thought this video was pretty non creative and good. And then I had to read the comments because I get email notifications. And um, basically, I am gonna read the comments to you. I'm not gonna to read to read my replies, but I'm just gonna read the comments, I'm not gonna mention any names. And there's one comment that I had, and I'm gonna leave that for last. So the first one says, I'm sorry, but I think most people prefer a real genuine reaction that isn't maxed by some sort of skit with a sad face. 
Then once then the other is I've definitely missed something. Um, well, not to be offensive, but this was kind of a cringe reaction to watch. People tend to enjoy more of a genuine reaction, not a made up personality. Thank you for the reaction anyways and keep up keep doing your job. First, that was such a fun video. Then um why that video have many dislikes? So that's that. So majority of it is like n negative and probably two and a half, one and a half comments is positive. And then there's this comment from a guy that decided this fate of this video. So, so this is what this guy said. Dude, there is something wrong with you. If you're wondering why you only have 28 likes and 43 dislikes, me beating one of them, this is why. Let that sink in for a moment. Now, if you were put into my shoes, what would you think from seeing all these negative comments? You would probably do the same thing, which was remove this video from people who would like to watch this. And I can remove all these negative comments, no problem. But if I do, more is probably going to surface. So what's the logic in that? This guy um, typed this on his computer or on his phone, wherever he was at. And he didn't put it into thought because I'm guessing he just really hated the video. And he just said something like that. And um, basically... Um, it really, these negative comments these people put really does affect the way creators think. And these are the people that um, make these creators second guess themselves on why they're doing YouTube, why they're doing that. And um, I'm sure this guy is a great guy. I mean, I'm not judging or anything, stereotyping or nothing, but just... The, the the way he put it is definitely rude and he wanted to make it negative because I'm guessing he saw the amount of ne negativity. So as of me being 21 years old, the logic of me being more mature is that why add negative things to more of a negative situation? So why add your negative input to a much more negative atmosphere, which is the comment section. The comment section is its own atmosphere. It has, it has tons of emotions in it, um, tons of discussions, and basically this was an emotion of negative. All these, all these comments that are here were negative, and he just added to the fuel to the fire. And he was the one that made this video go unlisted, and that's why you don't see it in my videos list. And all these people that posted these negative comments don't understand the amount of time I put to make these videos the way they are. The process of me going through these videos is as follows. I set up the equipment. The equipment is the microphones, the um, green screen, the lighting, all that, the camera, which is my phone and all that. I set up the camera position because that's very tedious. I set up Pro Tools, I set up the wireless receiver. I use the speakers for a reference for me to record, for me to sync up the music video from my phone to the actual video in um, post. Um, so I use a splitter with a long 3.5 adapter cable thing. Um, and then I use my headphones for the personal reference for me to actually listen to it. After all that's done, disassemble it. After how many videos I reacted to it, um, I disassemble everything. I transfer the files from my phone to the Mac I have that I'm using right now. Create a project in Premiere Pro, edit the video, do all this stuff. Um, queue it to Media Encoder save the Premiere Pro project, start another Premiere Pro project with another reaction. That process, go, that process goes on with um, post for about 
five videos. Then after when I'm done with that, um, I add it to the queue of Media Encoder, and then it renders out. All that time, it takes eight to 10 hours, and I kid you not for that. And that's a lot of time. You know that I can do much more important things for those 10 hours. I could be um, editing my sister's songs that she puts out on her YouTube channel. I could just keep learning Premiere Pro. I could be hanging out in my living room watching Hallmark movies. I could play with my dog. I could do all these things. But I decide to take 10 hours of my day for you to watch my videos and for you, the people who like it, I appreciate it. But I edit these things for you, these specific people in general, that you have to put a negative thing to it. And that's really disheartening and it's really, it really, really bums out your, your mindset. To go off a tangent just a little bit is that, um, in my vlogging channel, I mentioned that I lost weight. Um, I weighed 173, I weighed 145, which is like 33 around there, 30 plus pounds I lost. And it was because of that situation that um, in October that it made me go downhill. It was just the overall mindset that I got from this situation and it made me lose this weight. Not including me picking up the um, Christmas tree box that we have and um, pushing it out the attic and it made me feel like I ran a marathon. So I knew my body was in a bad shape and I lost that weight. And losing weight is a mindset. It literally is a mindset. And I feel like if everybody, if you see all these people that go through these transformations, they will probably say it's all a mindset. You literally have to put your mind to it and pursue it. And don't let anything stop you. And, well, <laughs> the common set and this, the downfall I had in October, um including my sickness and also my um, this negative comments. It put negative mojos in me and I didn't want to do anything. I didn't want to react to a video. I didn't want to put out a tech video, which I love technology. I didn't want to do anything because of this. And these negatives and these people that put out these negative comments on this video, it really, really put a, different mindset into my into my mind and I literally didn't want to do anything and this guy that added the fuel to the fire brought it up to my boiling point and I literally just unlisted it and as I said I couldn't remove all these comments but it's just gonna people are gonna re-watch these videos re-watch this video and they're gonna just dislike it more and just um, remove and add hateful comments. And my point is that for a 21 year old, of course these people are probably older than 21 or even less, I don't know. But what I find funny is that they add these comments and like you could keep them to yourselves. Like if one person gets the negative thing, I'm like, okay, I get it. People don't like it. So if one person likes it, a lot of people are going to like it, not going to like it. And the 43 dislikes, of course, are going to show you that they don't like it. So, like, if you see the amount of dislikes and like you see in a video, why in the world would you add fuel to the fire? You're, like, enabling another pe other people to just go off in the comic section. And it's it's horrible for the creator part. And that's why, that's the main part why I don't, I didn't upload for a month. And it's just hard on you for you, for me and other creators to see these hateful comments and like, oh, I'm just going to ignore it. It's like, you're not really good enough. And the other reaction video I did with voice play, I'd had Tom in it and people like that. And I believe they like that video with them liking it was different, but 
I remember a few comments saying, yeah, you should maybe just me react to it or do a genuine reaction, but this is going far off. And somewhat it's my it's my fault and somewhat of these commenters' fault because from the first video of Tom I should have listened um to people that said maybe you should not do this again or something like that with the other voice play reaction video I did. Um I should have listened so I'm not going to be pointing fingers, but yeah, it's a 50-50 here. I know I shouldn't have done it, but I did it anyways because I wanted to be creative. And I said in one of the comments, um, creativity got shot. And another person said, creative, creative indeed what this video was, but you should direct it to a more other type of subject. And I'm like, yeah, I didn't reply to it, but yes, I do agree to that. And that's what I'm going to do. But this video with these negative comments really, really hit home. And it was just, it didn't hit home, but it just really put a mindset like, dang, people hate this. And I'm like, I don't even think I should make another reaction video or make any type of video because I just don't like how people are reacting to this. So yeah, that's why I um, removed the thing, removed the video. I'm, I'm going to say it right now. For you to hear and if the negative people are watching that type these comments you know who you are I'm not gonna be doing Tom again ever I don't care if it's like a skit that I want to do off the side or anything I'm just not gonna do it because I'm just I'm just gonna say this is that you guys did put a mindset in my head of negative and I'm like I don't even think I'm good enough to do YouTube anymore and that's a bummer to the people who actually really like my videos and really are active. One woman, you know who you are. She's very active on, on my channel. And I really enjoy her company in the comic section. And there was an, there's a few others. But I really enjoy her company. And it's like, it's a bummer for the person that wants to see these reaction videos. And I don't want to upload because of these negative commenters. You're hearing this through me right now as I'm watching this in Pro Tools. This is 28 minutes long. It's probably going to be maybe 20 some odd minutes long. I hope I can cut this in half. But um, basically, I'm not going to be doing Tom again. And what I'm going to do is that I'm going to re-react to Voice Plays Oogie Boogie song. I don't know when it's going to be, but it's on my list again. And um, yeah. I'm going to re-react to it for a genuine reaction. And of course, I've seen it. But this is going to, it's going to be my reaction of um, me noticing things and all that. So I'm going to re-react to that video because I do enjoy it. And I know people enjoy me seeing me as me, not as some other person. Okay, so moving on to um, my vlogging channel. Um, so I started a vlog that was in November, like the day before Thanksgiving, which was a Friday or the day before the week of Thanksgiving, um, which was the Friday that I recorded a vlog, but I didn't record anything like talking. I only did cinematic sequences of outside and the leaves and all that. So that vlog is definitely not going to go up. <laughs> um, my goal for 2020 is to be a little bit more active on YouTube with vlogging. And um, and I could be because I'm like trying to come out of this comfort zone of me holding this camera out in public and literally just talking. And I don't want people to be like pointing fingers and like, what is this dude doing? Um, that's the that's why I haven't been, been blogging, vlogging, but also I don't have any content to vlog. So I'm like, it's really embarrassing. In a, in a way, like I see like <laughs> Casey Neistat and Lance Stewart do all these things and they're doing it thought, doing it in public, but they've been doing it for years and they don't mind it. And I'm new. I've done it in the beginning of 2018 and I'm still trying to come out of my comfort zone for, to vlog in front of my family as well as to vlog in um, public. And I don't even have to vlog my family. I just can vlog my face, seeing what they're doing and all that. Like right now, they're actually cooking Christmas cookies. <laughs> so um, that's what they're doing right now. And I could be vlogging that, but I'm not. And they know I have a vlogging channel. They know that. I didn't even tell them I had a vlogging channel. 
And I told them, and I'm like, you should find it. Try to find it. They found it. I'm like, please don't watch it in front of me. But they did anyways. But it's just more of a comfort zone thing that I need to get out of. They know that I have this this video too, and they tease me about it because I'm used to it. Um, they know I have this channel, Tech Manny and all that, and they nicknamed me the Tech Manny and all that. Um, but that's why I should, in 2020, I should become more vloggier, bring out more videos, and um, I want to do more college vlogs too. And then um, for my gaming channel, I post here and there. I have two Minecraft videos with my sisters that um, I started editing, but they're like a long, long videos of Minecraft, and um, I just have to edit it. And I'm thinking of doing that later on this week. Um, get those out because there are like 20 gigs in a file, so and they're taking up room on my one terabyte hard drive. Um, I'm gonna do that gaming stuff um so that's the ordeal with gaming channel um i'm still going to upload stuff it's not going to be like frequently but yeah i'm going to still try to upload um gaming stuff i did get a game um three games actually i got um an uno game which you like you see a lot of vanos playing it and his friends playing it i got that because ubisoft was having like a huge deal i got it for like with um 20 percent off um, the whole store I got like I paid like two dollars forty some odd cents um, for it, and then I got two games that are going to be on the channel along with Uno eventually, and that is um, that is Tom Clancy's The Division Two and Tom Clancy's The Breaking Point. So I'm really excited to record gameplay of the campaign and that, and maybe multiplayer if I can get a gist of the controls. I'm trying to get this my sisters to get Uno so we can play Uno together on the computer. That'll be really fun. Um, be really cool and we can record our audio. Um, yeah, that's about it. For vlogging, for the gaming vlogging, I'm gonna try to be more vloggier in 2020. And then the other f three things that happen that's irrelevant now, that's off to the side. Basically, that's it for this podcast in a way. <laughs> Um, I hope you enjoyed it. Sorry for me rambling, but this had to be out there, like, eventually. I didn't want to explain it into a reaction video because it would be pointless. So if you guys watch this video, thank you so much for watching. Or if you guys watch this, if you guys listened to this, thank you so much for listening, not watching. So let's do an overview, summarize it up. Um... College is over with. Not really. It's my third semester. I passed with all A's and one B. That's my main priority. Why I didn't upload. The second thing is that the emotional thing that happened. I'm out of it. Moving on from it. The third thing is that a cold. I'm moving on from it. From the cold. Getting out of it. Fourth thing. The negative comments. That video is going to stay unlisted. And I'm going to react to it again with myself. Not Tom. And um, for the vlogging. I'm going to be more active in 2020. Um. And my gaming channel, same thing as it is, just try to bring out more content. And if you guys haven't subscribed, I have like um, I have like seven subscribers on my vlogging and maybe five on my gaming. I really want to get my gaming and vlogging channel up there. Um, I'm f I, don't f I don't really promote it on my social media, so I think I should be more active on social media as well. Um, if you don't follow me on Instagram and Twitter, Twitter, the links will be in the description box below. And you can check it out at the last 20 seconds of this video, as well as my vlogging and gaming channel. Um, my Instagram is the Tech Manny, as well as um, Twitter, so follow me there. I haven't tweeted anything in my Twitter, but 2020, I need to be more active with all this stuff, because um, I didn't get to my goal at this year. We're like almost a hundred or so away from being a thousand. My goal of this year was a thousand, but I feel like 2020, I'll be a thousand plus more. Um, I'd be a thousand and some change in the next year. And my goal is that I really want to do something to just boost up my channels because um, I don't make money, as I said, off of these videos. And I just really want to have these, and I really want to like, have a thousand it'll be really cool that's one of my goals it's a small goal 
Of course, you start off small, and next thing you just keep moving on to smaller goals, and eventually you get to your bigger goal. So that's it. Um, I hope I didn't miss out on anything. Um, I recapped everything. And um, so basically, reaction videos are coming out in January. Um, much more stuff, reviews of adding on to the MIDI keyboard I had. Um, I just realized just a few seconds ago as I'm looking at my watch that I haven't even done a um, overview or like a one-year thing. It's going to be two years um, because I got this watch in 2018. But um, I sh I'm going to do a um, overview of the keyboard, the watch, comparison of the Agmex Cell 990, Toner BM700, and a microphone I got, which is the PreSonus M7. I think it's called. It's, it's a large diaphragm condenser. Um, do a little bit more um, reviews, tech reviews in the future, and um, a lot to come in 2020. And 2020 is the year of our channel. And I'm saying our channel because all of us created this channel and made it to what it is because I was starting off doing magic tricks. I was starting off doing these little tiny tech reviews, unboxings, and all that. And Y'all created this reaction trend on my thing, and it just boosted it. So I hope you enjoyed this little tiny podcast I have for you guys. It was well overdue. Um, have you subscribed yet? If not, what are you doing? You should. When you subscribe, there's something called a notification bell, and when you press that, you will get notified whenever I upload a video like this. Probably not ever again. I hope not, but... <laughs> <laughs> or any type of video like that. I also have a vlogging and gaming channel, as I said. The links will be in the description box below. And you can check it out at the last 20 seconds of this video. So subscribe. 2020 is going to be the year for those channels and for this channel. Subscribe. Not begging you, but do subscribe because there's going to be content coming out on those. I'm not going to promise anything, but I'm definitely going to say that it's not. it's going to be much more than what I'm putting out now on those channels. Um, you can follow me on Twitter and Instagram. As I said before, the links will be in the description box below. And um, that's it. I hope you enjoyed this little tiny podcast. And I'll see you guys in 2020.